we do nothing at all, what you see is a very rapid rise in cases. So if you do it on a graph, it's a very tall peak because you get a very rapid rise in cases and then a, a rapid decline in cases. That is the situation that would overwhelm your healthcare system because you have a large number of cases over a short period of time and your hospitals will not be able to cope so what we mean by flattening the curve is, is not so much that you're reducing the number of cases, but that you're stretching out the time over which these cases accumulate. And so that gives your health system time to prepare, to be ready, but also more time to, to manage the cases in a staggered fashion. We must remember that here in our context, if we get a huge burden on the health system, it's not just going to give the direct kind of deaths from COVID-19, but it's going to have a lot of knock-on effects then on people living with HIV, people with TB, and, and, and may kind of affect our control of, of those epidemics at the same time. So. There's a lot of reasons why we have to be particularly um, kind of aggressive and, and take the right measures to, to get on top of this.